Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And whenever I do a video about kind of a unique shaped flashlight, there's usually comments about people or from people who are not interested in that because the batteries are not replaceable. So the question is, and I'm going to start with double A's here, is that still a relevant situation? Double A battery was actually first released uh, by the EverReady Corporation in 1907 and then standardized universally in 1947. And since then, we've been trying to stuff more into it and squeeze more out of it than ever before. You know, we use uh, recycled batteries. I've got uh, all kinds of high performance uh, rechargeable batteries. Now, I don't hear anyone worried about the loss of the C battery. I can't stand these things. And there are still things that use it brand new stuff, mostly like camping lanterns, which to me makes zero sense. But going back to the double A, I do appreciate the option in flashlights and in headlamps, but I've also learned that the limitations of these things might far exceed any benefit that we get. Um, I often find one of my double A uh, lights or double A appliances. I've got GPSs, walkie-talkies, radios, lamps, um, some tools that all use double A's. And if I don't use them for a while, especially if I've got Duracells in them, that seems to happen the most, is it's all corroded. It's all messed up. Um, I've done a lot with rechargeable ones, uh, using those, cycling them through. And I was thrilled when Olight came out with this uh, O-Station that charges up double uh, A batteries and then vends them out like toothpicks whenever you need them, that can keep them cycled and, and charged, which is one of the reasons that we've gone to, um, one of the reasons we've gone to these kinds of uh, uh, batteries that are sealed inside. The other reason, the big one, is once you leave a standardized shape, and this is what the computer companies discovered, once you leave that, leave it behind, then you can go with almost any shape because you can build the battery around it or even make the battery part of the uh, system. So instead of having a big housing, the battery is part of the housing. But I do like double A's. And some of the use cases, I often have them um, available in vehicles. I have a double A light with a, um, with a, a new, usually the lithium ones like this. That's my preference uh, for cold weather performance. These don't produce really much more, if any. Um, they just work better in lower temperature and they last a lot longer um, just sitting still. But I also like the light where I could, you know, whoops, try a different one here, turn this and cause it not to come on. So you can see it's on. I can turn this to completely break uh, any chance of, of a spontaneous discharge. And I do find that a lot of my, my, um, fancier lights, they do discharge over time. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. They're maybe monitoring themselves on the inside. Um, sometimes I look at larger lights, double A lights like this, as having, you know, the power of a smaller light, but twice the capacity. So I'm, it's, instead of carrying this, these two things, I can just carry this instead. And this is for a human hand, this is a great size, as I just demonstrated. That can be a little small, especially in my big mitts, where you know monitoring something like that um, can you know get in the way because my hand completely cover it. But the other thing I've noticed uh, is since I was so used to being able to leave the house with a uh, a full charge, I can top everything off. I wanted the ability to do that with double A. Uh, and when, you know, back in the day when we were all buying expensive AA batteries for that high performance, you try to squeeze as much out of it. It got worse when we went to the, the 123 batteries like this. Um, if you were using those in, you know, your old stream lights and stuff like that, Surefires, is you wanted to get every penny's worth of electricity out of these because they were expensive. Um, so now that we've got rechargeable ones, or if you, you know, are new to flashlights and you mostly only know the rechargeable world, it used to be a lot tougher. And then back in the old mag, uh, mag light days, you know, you got little performance and you would use this until there was just kind of this little rusty glow coming out of it because D batteries were expensive, especially the good ones. So anyway, are double A's still relevant? It is a size because it's a standardized size. It standardized the designs of the lights. I mean, we have gone with flat lights that have rows of these things, but what I discovered kind of thinking about my electrical use, especially uh, 
uh, outdoors is as most things have left the um, kind of the double A world and gone to onboard uh, rechargeable uh, lithium ion or better batteries is that I I have fewer and fewer things that I could even use these with. My radios, my speakers, my GPS's are all rechargeable now. They don't have a way that I can use something like this. Um, and if I've gone to like solar banks and things like that where I can charge up those devices, uh, I don't need to be able to carry something that looks like this. It's just that's the way I've always done it. Um, and even in the old days, like here's an old Technolite. This is from the 1990s. It might look like it's a double A light, but no, nope, it's not. Um, this one runs on a couple of small batteries. In fact, I don't even know if this was the original, the E90. Um, I, it's just what works with it. And this is an old dive light. I used to use double A um, batteries in my Tecna dive lights, if you can believe that. You know, it's we were, I mean, single and maybe double digit <laughs> lumens. Uh, rarely did we get into triple digit lumens. Um, back in those days but anyway so i use i use double a's for vehicle lights because i can kind of count on them to just sit there forever and maybe not uh, be used sometimes i will standardize maybe um, usually with triple a and i'll do a video on triple a's i think that's a little bit of a different story i'll explain why but sometimes if i, I could standardize with a set maybe i have a walkie talkie that used the double a's as well um, then I might lean towards that as my solution. But otherwise, I just have gotten so used to being able to leave um, uh, with a full charge and having, you know, a much higher power, stronger current, longer run life, you know, better output um, in a design, you know, maybe I can't swap this out. Yeah, it's going to go in a landfill or recycled as e-waste or something. Um long before something like this ever would but you know what this is just a prop i i wouldn't get i wouldn't use this thing anymore there's no reason to it's huge it's heavy it's uh really a low performer because it's old technology and you know with computing power with uh cell phones things like that i guess i i'm embracing the new designs and the power um you know it's like the same reason i've kind of left gas engines as much as possible and gone with electric battery powered stuff yeah i do still have the gas I, gas generator gas chainsaw things like that but overall for daily drivers i really like the new um new battery designs and i'll keep the double a's around but you know if they disappeared tomorrow i don't know if i would miss them what about you and with that dock out <laughs>